how to pursue a woman, fellas. Uh, I want to show y'all how to pursue a woman. Um, let's say that you notice this new woman is moving in your apartment complex where you live, and she's very attractive to you. Or you notice this woman, she work on the same job you work on. Let's say you work in this office building with a bunch of businesses in that office building. And you see this woman on a daily basis doing break in and out the elevator. And you think that, you know, she's a very attractive woman. She looked beautiful to you. Um, and you want to get to know her. You don't just pursue her the first time you see her and just ask her out. You know, what you want to do is you want to take your time and you want to watch her. Watch how she talk. Watch how she dress. Watch how she walk. Watch how she carry herself. You want to find out about her character. You want to find out is she a classy woman you know and the way how you do that sometimes just watch and observe after you watch her and observe her for a while and then if you want to strike a conversation with her just just start off by simply saying hello hello hey how you doing today that right there alone going to tell you a lot about her how she responds off your hello if she don't give you no eye contact if she don't speak back and speak back with eye contact, don't pursue her. If she don't speak back with a positive attitude like she really want to speak, don't pursue her. If, only, if the only time she speak to you is when you speak to her, chances are she's not interested or maybe they're just her personality. And, you know, she fine, but her personality is not good. So you don't pursue her. Body language is everything. How a woman respond back to your hello, that's very important. Eye contact, look for eye contact. Look for how she's speaking back to you. And do she say hello back like hello and that's it? Or do she say like, hey, how you doing? Hey, you know, like with a smile. She want to speak to you, you know what I'm saying? And then one day, let her speak first. And then now she, you see her speaking first. Now you know, hey. This might, she might be interested in me, you know. Now, this might be a good woman for me. She got a nice personality, you know. She dressed well. She's beautiful. Let me ask her out. Then you strike a conversation the next day. And then during that conversation, listen, I've been watching you for a while. You're very beautiful. Um, seems like to me so far, you know, you got a nice personality. I like your character. I like your class, how you carry yourself. Could we exchange numbers and maybe we can get to know each other we can go out you know have some coffee you know have dinner or something she say yes you take the number or she might say you know i got somebody i'm, I'm you know i'm not single whatever the situation is but if she say yes you take the number and you take the next shit up and you call her first you pursue her don't just pursue a woman based upon her physical attraction i learned that from my man tony gaston's you have preferences and you have standards. Preferences is pretty much how the physical attraction of a woman, her body size, how beautiful she is on the outside. Standards is based upon her morals. Does she have class? How she carry herself? And that's what you want to choose a woman on. Not just on preference, but on standards as well. The reason why a lot of men get have baby mama drama, the reason why a lot of men... Um, get into a relationship with a woman that don't respect them because they only go based upon their preference, what they want physically, not their own standards. To cut down on baby mama drama, to cut down on getting disrespected, choose a woman based upon standards, not only because she's physically attractive and she's, she's physically fine. Because one thing you got to understand, fellas, eye candy by itself, beautiful woman by, by itself will not make you happy. You, you need somebody with character. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's how you pursue a woman. You take your time, you get to know her, you watch her. Observe things about her first. And I don't care how fine she is, if she don't meet your standards, not your preference, your standards, you don't pursue her. But you know what, fellas? It takes a strong man to do this. A weak man he ran behind everything that looked good to him. But a strong man that know his worth and know his purpose, 
know what he got in state and that's the problem with you guys you don't even know your purpose you don't know what you got in state you don't know what you bring to the table when you know that you're a good man and that you bring a lot to the table we ain't gonna pursue any and every woman you're gonna pursue that one particular woman and as a man you the head you're supposed to pursue the woman because the Bible say when the man finds a wife finds a good thing it's your responsibility as the head to pursue a woman and find you a wife that are suitable for you not with a nice body not 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 that's physical attractive but you want to know is she suitable for me because if you get that woman that's suitable for you you're gonna hook up with her and y'all can move mountains together because her role as a woman is to make you better good looks by herself can't make you better she got to bring something more to the table than just her looks can she build with you can she improve you can she manage your money instead of spending your money those are the things that you guys got to look for when you pursuing a woman thank y'all for tuning in god bless